Hi guys, welcome back to Will the Beard Reviews. Tonight we're going to be talking about Justice League issue 48, written by Cy Spurrier with art by Aaron Lepresti. Now, I gotta be 100% honest. Um, I was a big fan of Justice League, uh, the, the series, when um, uh, Scott Snyder and James Tinian were doing all of the writing and it kind of played into uh, Snyder's bigger visions for everything going on in the DC Universe. And then, over the past few story arcs where we've kind of gotten away from that, we've had standalone story arcs that are just kind of self-contained. They don't really deal with anything um, bigger going on in the DC Universe. Um, and they're just kind of there. And they're, they're good comics. I've been kind of like, ah, do I want to keep reading this series or do I want to take this off my pull list and replace it with something else that I can enjoy? Maybe an indie or a different book that I'm not um, reading right now. And I was thinking about that since we've got another new creative team coming. And I was looking ahead at uh, uh, issue 49 that comes out next week. And I was like going back and forth with myself. And then I read this issue you and I'm going to at least finish this story arc out because I think it's very, very interesting what um, Spurrier is putting out here, and Aaron Lepresti's art is is just uh, is just great. So in this issue, we have the Justice League accidentally taking over a world when they were just trying to help some or to to respond to a distress call. It's very, very funny. Um, there's actually a line in this where um, Superman says, "I never claimed I was non-interventionalist," and then he accidentally Deadly becomes like a monarch for this entire world and he's like oh I didn't mean to do that so it's very very interesting so let me let me stop yammering here and let's go ahead and, and crack into this book right okay so we got our, our main members of the league here. We're thinking we're just on, got five members here, right? Yeah, Flash, Batman, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, and, and Superman in there. Pretty classic lineup. Um, they're out going to respond to a distress signal. They don't know um, what kind of distress signal it is. They're thinking it's weird that they, um, they're they four sectors away, and they call the Earth seemingly specifically, and so they're out there to um, to, to help it. Of course, we got our, our um, space-faring um, members of the league, um, um, and then we got Wonder Woman here in a pretty cool uh, space mask that I don't think I've ever seen her in before. And then they come up um, on the ship and we've got uh, Big Green Ugly here trying to take a bite out of it. So they're like, oh, that's... Uh that's why they they uh, had a distress call, and so um, <laughs> I love this line right here. Batman says, "Taking evasion, uh, taking evasive action. Can anyone identify that thing?" And the Flash, with the quips and the humor, says, "I'm gonna take what Lovecraft looks for a girl uh, looks for in a girl for a hundred. I thought I thought that line was uh, was pretty funny. And so they're just trying to figure out how to attack this thing. What's going on? Um, uh, Superman says, uh, uh, "Start choosing targets, limbs and claws. Uh, you two, uh, limbs and claws. Uh, you two, Wonder Woman." And then they're like, "Hey, where, where'd Wonder Woman go?" And so they're trying to figure it out. And uh, Batman sends the Flash in there to see if um, to have him run around to see if there are any survivors. And he does find some. And there's these little kids from what whatever species um, this is. And he's like, I, "I think there's kids, and there's a bunch." of them in here so what are we going to do and so um, uh, then we get Wonder Woman coming in and she figured out what it was because she actually stopped and, and looked up what it is she says um, it's a a varantithicus. I, I, I'm going to butcher that word. My apologies, Mr. Spurrier. As she says it. Uh, the male burrows into an asteroid to incubate the larva. She was just protecting her mate. Okay, fair enough. And then she says here, uh, uh, I feel like, how did you know that? And she says, because I was checking uh, the directory of aliens while you were figuring out what to punch. And Superman says, yeah, okay. Point, point taken there, Wonder Woman. Point taken. So they get into the ship and they're consoling the, the kids and, and whatnot. And Superman or uh, uh, Batman sends a message to their home planet and says, "Hey, um, this is this is what happened. Your kids are safe. We're gonna we're gonna bring them home to you." And um, then down here, Wonder Woman says, uh, do you understand us, little one? We've contacted your home. Whoever's in charge there, uh, they know that you're safe now." And he says, "Huh? Who do you think set us adrift?" Is in space and in, 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 who do you think set us adrift in the first place? And you're like, wait a minute, what? You guys got sent away and set adrift on purpose from your home planet? 
okay, now now you've got my interest. Now you've got me intrigued as to um, what this this story is going to be. So they're they're towing the ship back there too. I do like that. Uh, Green Lantern is of course using his power ring, but I like that uh, Superman's got Wonder Woman's lasso of truth there, um, using that to to pull it. And then we get um, kind of a breakdown of what this this species is about, and they're divided um, along along two hardline factions. Um, that uh, Wonder Woman says they call themselves the Trotha. Uh, their homeworld ha- is a rogue comet. That's why there's nothing in the Green Lantern directory. They're always on the move. I'm still figuring this part out, but there seem to be two factions among adults. One group is the way of the cell, and the other is the way of the spark. Uh, I don't know what that means in practice, but they hate each other. And the only reason they're not stuck in an endless civil war is, well... Um, and then she asked the, the the little guy to tell him what he said. And he says, because of her tyrannical majesty, the Empress Sidenix. Only her lineage has the power to unite the cell and the spark. They've ruled the Trotha for centuries. Um, teachers are are purged. The entire military is mind controlled. She's liquidated every threat. That's that's what happened to our parents. Terrorists and agitators. She calls them. They serve ten years in the sleeping legions, and basically she's rounded up all the children as a warning to others and and set them adrift. So like basically she rules with an iron fist and keeps these two factions from going to war with each other, which is good. But good enough, good lord. Like it's good that she's not keeping or she's keeping them from going to war. But the way she's going about it is awful. Uh, teachers are purged, people are killed, the kids are sent away as punishment. It's awful, right? And I do like the idea of the um, the way of the cell and the way of the spark. And just from these pictures, it lo- and from what something else they say later on in the book, it looks like the way of the cell is like a way of like physiological purity, no body modifications or anything like that, just like pure unaltered um, trotha. And then we have the way of the spark, which they are look to be all about technology. You can see like the cybernetic implants um, and and stuff on there. So very very interesting. I can kind of see these these ideological uh, lines being drawn in this um, in this species. So they get to the planet and. They're like, um, yeah, maybe that civil war did kick off while you guys were gone. You can see the the explosions there um, uh, on the planet. And so um, they get down there and they say, um, what's the situation? And it looks like they've gone to war and the, the aliens here recognize the uh, the League as the ones that sent them a message about their kids. It's like, hey, it's the it's the saviors of the children. They've, they've brought them back to us. Yay, they're here. And then it looks like the Empress is about to be taken out by um, each side of the faction. Like they've gone to war with each other and um, to um, maybe take down, or maybe not with each other, but gone to war with the army that's being controlled by the Empress to overthrow the Empress and they're about to kill her and Wonder Woman says yeah, it's not up to us um, what happens here we don't know anything about these people I hate to say it but I don't think we should intervene and of course Superman does intervene now I can't blame Superman here um, I think Batman says it right here he says mob justice isn't um, justice that might be on on another page here but he intervenes, and so they just take the Empress, throw her um, into prison, and everyone's happy about it, right? They say, uh, Superman here says, uh, I can almost hear you glaring at me, Wonder Woman. I couldn't let them kill her. I never claimed to be a non-interventionist, and that's that line um, I, I talked about um, at the beginning. And so then we kind of get um, to know the um, the Trotha a little bit more, some more interesting stuff here. Um, apparently there are two of them are sisters. Um, one is a representative representative of the way of the cell and the others are rep- from his, uh, the way of the spark and they're like sisters well wh- what do you mean and so they say here uh, yes ma'am every trotha chooses a way in her 15th in, in her 15th year it has little bearing on family and it's and then the other one says it's not really a choice at all all children feel drawn to either the purity of the way of the spark or the sticky perversity of her kind and then the one from the way of the cell says Ugh, typical plastic head snobbery the way of the cell is warm and they're like okay okay we get it we get it so you can start to see these two factions how they they go uh, at each other right it's like there's purity in the way of the spark and ugh, don't don't go with them like they're there's they're sticky human people over here with their biogenics and like whatever and then the the cell is like oh god them plastic as they put all this crap in their bodies and and stuff like that so 
very, very interesting. And I do do like here that apparently the Universal Translators don't uh, handle gender very well uh, from their language, and um, they keep the the uh, the Trotha keep calling all of the Justice League ma'am, which is I find pretty hilarious. There's a little uh, blurb there between uh, Green Lantern and Flash about it, and so um, they apparently can't figure out what to do now, now that they don't have leadership, and they want the Justice League to lead them. They say that people want you to rule us, and they've kind of gotten and taken them out here to some ceremony. You can see all the people there in the background, and then the Justice League are like, oh, what? No, that's that's not exactly what we signed up for. We were just uh, we were just responding to to a distress call, right? And so as they're having that conversation about um, what's going on, um, Wonder Woman is saying uh, that it will help set them up, but we can't rule them, Clark. We mustn't. Our only qualification is that we can hit things harder than they can. We know nothing of their culture culture you want to help them good so do i but we must lead by example not by command and they're like oh, all right and green lantern says listen you two worked more closely than uh, with a tyrant than anyone right strategically there's no one better suited for an interim leadership basically saying like look you two are the two leaders of your faction we can help you figure out a way so you can work together and lead this place and then someone screams death and then we got a two-page ad, which always annoys me. And then we've got th whatever this thing is coming in saying death to the Trotha. And it's saying here, um, they're, they're basically saying we don't know what this is. And it's some kind of like weird, almost crang looking like alien. And it says, behold, plasma explosives are triggered. Uh, to live or not to live is irrelevant. All is equal now within or within the sacred now. Here is the declaration of the Ark. Uh, Archimandrite. So something came in, and this other alien showed up, and now it's about to to blow things up. And during the fight, Superman says um, to the Trotha, "You know, get down! Something's gonna blow up!" And they basically prostrate themselves before him, like bow down to a new king or a new god. And Superman's like, "Oh, that's that's not what I meant. That's not." exactly what i meant to do here uh but that's what happened and then there's a huge explosion and and that's what uh, that's where we leave off for our our next issue so like i said at the top um i was ready to to tell my lcs to pull uh to take um justice league off of my pull list because even though all the story arcs um after scott snyder's run have been good been solid i feel like there was something else out there that i could be spending that other eight dollars a month on since uh justice league does ship uh, twice a month, but then I read this one. I'm like, man, that's interesting. I, I gotta see how how this one plays out, and it takes us up through issue 50. I believe this is a three part story arc, so 48, 49, and then 50, and maybe 51. We'll start with another new, like, uh, bigger, more prestige style story arc, something similar to what um, Snyder uh, had going on. So, guys, that was issue 48 of Justice League. Let me know your thoughts on this one down in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you uh, like what we do here on the channel and you want to support it, easiest and best way to do that is just hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, notification bell, all those YouTube algorithm things that we have to do here. Um, if you want to do more than that for the channel, though, down in the description box is a link to my Patreon page as well as an Ask Me Anything tip page. If you want to go there, leave a tip to the channel and ask a question or suggest a topic, I'll do a video on that question or topic right here on the channel. Other than that, I have a post office box and an email address and all my social medias if you want to reach out to me one of those ways. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, we'll see you guys at the comic shop.